Close your eyes. You're working in a timeline. I wish to move the playhead to a different point in time. You leave your work area and climb up to the timeline bar. Click. 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 With your playhead repositioned, you return to your abandoned work. Your keyframes, linear. Your cuts, dissolved. Your beats, drag. How does that happen? Shut up. This could have all been prevented if only you cared a little more. And now you can with so- Unleash your creativity, be the U.S. you, and look at the fancy motion graphics. Okay, I'm done now. Instead of moving your mouse up to the timeline bar, you can use the script to bring the playhead to the cursor. It's called Timeline Click, and it's an auto hotkey function that can be set up for any application. I use it in After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, FL Studio, and Cavalry. The setup includes a little bit of coding, but I have commented example scripts, written documentation, and a setup video in the description. So don't worry, Emperor Dragon, I got you. Here's how it works. The function finds a specified image on the timeline bar that moves with it vertically. Then the mouse moves up to the vertical position of that image, offset by some distance, clicks down, and then returns to the original mouse position. Now that image and that offset value are the parameters that you'll use in the timeline click function. Go to the setup video for a deeper explanation. Down link is in the description. If you're not subscribed to me, don't. I make like one useful thing a year.